What's up guys? Coach Jetster here. Uh, today's walk and talk is um, going to be a little bit, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it's kind of like talking, it's like inception because I'm giving you a little something and you can take some notes like people do. If people take notes during these, I don't know, they keep them pretty short. So even if you just get one sentence out of it, you know, uh, it was all worth it. Um, so today's little session is about taking notes. So I thought of this other day. This is where I really turned my business around and, and just me and, and just my, uh, how I deal with seminars and, you know, um, <clears throat> YouTube videos and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, you know, every time you go to these things, especially in my world of Beachbody, I'm told to, uh, you know, listen to this seminar, write down everything, write everything down. I don't necessarily do that. Um, as an example, the other day, I was watching my good buddy, Coach Jimmy. Uh, he did a keynote speech in Philadelphia, and he spoke for an hour. Uh, it was actually just a 30-minute 30, a 30 seminar and then like a 25-minute Q&A. And at the end of it all, I had written one thing down that he said. One thing. However, as you know, this is called the Walk and Talk series. I ended up walking away with eight Walk and Talks. My notes were inspired by what he was saying. So, you know, don't just sit down and write down everything that these people say. Don't just write down everything I say. That, that's, that's, not any, that's not doing you any good. You're not learning from that. That's like when you're in elementary school and they say, write down, I always hated this, like in your science class, it was like, okay, do the 10 questions, but I want you to write the question and then write the answer. That's called busy work. Don't do busy work when you're taking notes because you'll never look at it again. But what happens is you end up with this paper filled with notes and you're like, look what I did. I accomplished so much. I can go to bed happy now because I worked hard today. That wasn't really an accomplishment. I mean, I guess it was an accomplishment. You got uh, you know, some calluses on your fingers from writing so much. Um, or do people even write anymore? I guess maybe taking notes on the phone. That being said, uh, you know, let my words be the springboard for you. If I say something and it reminds you of, of, of a friend or somebody that wants help or anything like that, Think, like, write that down instead of what I said. Maybe write, if I'm giving you information that's new information and you've never heard it before, then sure, write that down. But think about what I'm saying and how it affects you directly. How can you implement what I'm giving you or anyone, any kind of notes? How do you use that in your life? How does it apply to you? Like I said, let my words be the springboard for your ideas and your thoughts. You don't have to write down what I say because I'm not you. You probably would say something differently. You know, let it be your world. Let it be, it's, it's your journey. It's your health and fitness world. And, 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 and it's about you and the people you want to help. I'm here to help as well. Um, and that's just a, I don't know, I guess it's a quick little walk and talk today. Um, that's how Coach Jester takes notes. All right, thanks for watching, guys.